Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. That's the Apple logo up here. And usually, before we used to run all our updates under the App Store. So if you guys don't see any updates under system preferences, most likely you're running an older Mac where you would need to go into App Store. For now, we're going to go into system preferences. And once you're in system preferences, on the left hand side, you will notice software update. So we're going to tap right there. We're going to see this screen popping up. It's just going to look for that update. And finally, here it is. We can go on it to be more information. It is less than three gigs. So right now, if I click on it, it should tell me exactly how much, which is 2.64 gigs. It does require a restart like all updates do. However, before we run anything, just make sure to do a backup of your Mac. And that's just in case something bad happens because you never want your Mac to crash on you or anything like that. So if anything bad happens, as long as you guys have a time machine backup like I do right now, then you should be OK. Time machine is something that's already built into your Mac. So just make sure to back it up and you should be fine. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, Time Machine, just make sure to check out the video that I have on that. Anyways, let's just go into install now. And here we go. We just have to agree to this. After we agree to this, it's just going to start downloading. Now, during the download progress, doesn't matter if it turns off. Not really. So let's say you guys are updating your MacBook. It just ran out of battery. It's not a huge deal. However, if it turns off when it's installing an update, then it's a big deal. So make sure to just have your Mac hooked up to some electricity while you're running this update. If you guys have an iMac or anything else, such as Mac Pro, Mac Mini, then just make sure not to turn it off and you guys should be just fine. Now, how long will this take? Well, it depends on your internet speed. So two gigs for some people could be just a couple seconds. Others, it could be an entire day. So again, it does depend on your internet speed. If you guys want this to go a little bit faster, usually by hooking up your Mac directly to your router using Ethernet cable will be a lot faster. At this point, what you can do is just let your Mac be. Just let it install by itself. It's just going to restart by itself. You're going to see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and afterwards, we're just going to be done with the update. So as mentioned, afterwards, we would see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and it's just going to restart and we are all done. It's just gonna load up everything as it was. You should see this under software update right now that it's up to date right now. That's the latest update for your Mac. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.